my award show is about lifting up just the average person who wouldn't regularly be celebrated. And we're going to continue on with that. We'll be doing another one in September 11th, and we're going to work vigorously to make sure that everything is working. <laughs> everything is burnt to a DVD, so if the internet go out, we got it burnt to a DVD. I want to thank you all for coming out, and uh, uh, I love you all. Y'all have a safe passage home, and thank you for sharing this day with me. God bless you. I have the second man of the of the evening here, Mr. Chris, who is a offspring of the wonderful Mr. Hart. So you having a good time? We get ready yes, to get up out of here. How long yeah, you guys been working on this here. event? Putting it, putting everything together. I came in. It was about like two months, three mm -hmm. months. Yeah. I love the outfit. Everybody's dressed so nice. I see good taste runs in the family. Oh yes, it do. Now, do you sing or play any instruments? No, nah, I'd like to write R and B. Oh what? Yeah, I like to write. What you spell? How you spell that? R and B. R and B. Okay. So you write? Do you sing as well? Or you produce? I don't sing. I I try to. I'm, I'm just starting to. Sing, I'm though. just starting to produce, but not. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to hearing some good things from you. Maybe we'll have you on the show and interview. You let you play some of your stuff. Oh yeah. You interested in that? Oh yes, indeed. Okay. And so, where do you go to school? I mean, what are you taking to school? What's your major? How old are you? I'm 15. I'm at Wilson High School. Well, you know, it's summertime now. Right. Yes. <laughs> it's summertime. Ain't no more school. None of that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just focused. What, what's, what What subject do you like in school the best? Math. You gotta know math. Yes, you can count that money, money, That's money. The, yeah, that green. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for stopping by Ethic TV. Thank you. And So I'm here live with Mr. Harp, the man of the evening of the Fam Tabulous Harp Awards. We bring you here, invite you for a little dinner. Next thing you know, you're up on stage receiving a Perseverance Award or something of that nature. We're here with Miss Gracie Sprout, who played the harp so fantabulously tonight. And Mr. Harp, tell us how you met her. Uh, the internet. She's all over it. Yeah, you know, she's, she's owning it. She's owning yeah, it. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. She. She uh, advertised on the internet that she plays a harp. My name is Harp, Your and I said, man, what a more befitting thing to do, be able to do something with the harpist, and I'm a harp. Helping angels helping angels receive their praise. Uh, that's right? it. That's it. That's it. Another angel. Yes. Another angel. And right I want to thank you for going to visit my mama okay. earlier. And I will send you a DVD of the visit. Yes, but I okay. really thank you so oh, much. Oh, that's no problem. That. No that problem. Was, I heard that was you and your son. We went, we went thank you so much her. for going to visit yeah. my mama today. Shout it. out we to my mama. It. I see you working all genres, working from with people like from Jay Z to Beyonce to Mariah and to Pac. It seems to me you're a multifaceted individual. Did you grow up playing any instruments? Was your home filled with music as you were coming up? Um, my stepdad had a organ in the house. That's all, and I learned play? to play with it okay. as well, and started writing songs when I was very young. So, okay. that's it. I would definitely say, sir, that you are definitely on point and living your purpose. And thank I appreciate you, so much. you. And I thank you for coming and we did enjoy visiting yeah. with your mom. She's a delightful person. I see where she gets her beauty, where you get Aww. your beauty from now. Oh, okay, so we had fun with Miss Alfred today and we look forward to uh, doing some more things with you, T. Okay, all that's, right. Right. All right. that's right, all right, all right. I'm gonna all interview, right. I'm gonna interview the sharpest man in the place tonight, little Eddie Kendricks over here in a minute, Mr. Marvin Gaye over there. 
All right. But uh, thank you so much for everything. And I'm looking forward to doing more things with you, more events and more shows. Okay. Me too. Okay. Enjoy yourself. All right. All right, AC. We told you thank you, Daryl. Wherever you're at the house tonight, we had to thank you came out. Y'all feeling good right now? Yeah! We're going to feel better right now. We're going to turn up some music right now. We're going to get this organization going on together. But right now, we're going to play some music right now. If y'all want to come up front and start dancing with me, grab y'all love one and stuff like that, we're going to make a party until the party starts. Let's get the party cracking, y'all. Oh, Mr. Harp is notorious for inviting you to dinner to be his guest. And then he'll call you up on the stage and acknowledge you or give you some type of award. I'm here with Miss Rita, who received the Perseverance Award tonight. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, the Perseverance Award is an award that I received for being determined. I've been in college uh, 17 years. I received my BA in negotiation. Thank you. Negotiation conflict resolution from Cal State Dominguez. And I persevered this year. I graduate May 21st, 2016. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That I did. 17 years. You had no idea? No idea. My niece told me I was coming for dinner, and that I did. That's what Mr. Harp told me. He said, That's how he does it. Yes. Just, awesome. just hey, boss wants to see you. Wow. <laughs> Be ready Sunday at four, right? Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Well, congratulations! Well, it has you. been a pleasure meeting you. I love you and your purple thank and you. all your energy tonight, keeping the event going. Everybody's looking very lovely this evening. Yes. I sincerely wish you all the best with your new endeavors. What are you going to do with that degree? I'm going to take it to the next level. Oh, I'm going to be that doctorate? agents of change Ooh. within the community. Sounds yes. like ethic. Yes. Everything yes. has its chance. That's right. Everything has its chance. That's right. And okay. a place. Oh, chance and a place. Where can we find you? Shout well, out. yeah, you can give me a shout out. I am uh, on Facebook. You can Facebook me at Rita Wright. That is W-R-I-G-H-T. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes. Right. I have the lovely Kiara here, Mr. Harp's lovely youngest daughter. And Toya will be coming around soon for her interview. So, you having a good time tonight? I am. I am. The the. And the first yeah, annual first Harp annual Award was, was awesome. Woo! It was off awesome. the chain. Yeah. We had a little technical difficulties, but we worked yeah, through it. Right? Yeah, we worked through it. We definitely worked through it. Everybody was working yeah. hard. I want to thank just everybody who was just working hard and yeah, just working. Yes. So they had to work, work, work. Yes, work, work. yes. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. okay. <laughs> so I like you because you're very, very humble. Thank you. And very down to earth. Thank Everybody's you. sharp. Thank you. What do you like to do in school? Your favorite subject or life? You know what? what? Uh, in life, I want to be an actress. Um, you know, I've been hmm. taking many acting classes lately with uh, Fadidra Harris. And, you know, my favorite subject in school would probably have to be science and Ooh. English. Look out, JPL. <laughs> Look out now. Science and English, that's yes. rich. <laughs> so you could you could make some potions and you could act. Right, right, time. right, right. And, you know, um, you know, I write too. You know, I do okay. poetry. Um, my mom has a nonprofit organization that is um, anti, that has to do with anti-bullying. Oh, you know. I love it. Right. You know, and um, yeah, yeah. So I help Auntie, write her. What's the, name, what's the name of the organization, sweetheart? Quantum Kids. Quantum Kids. And we just teach kids, like, to don't do bullying and, mm -hmm. you know, stay, stay good in school. Do you teach positive. them intervention? If you see something going on, say something yes. or step in? Yes, yes, yes. We teach them to walk away mm -hmm. and go get an adult and... Um, yeah, just do the right it's thing. It's gonna make step me up. cry. <laughs> just step up for those kids who have been bullied. I have been bullied from my personal experience. I was gonna ask so, you about that. Yeah, I've been bullied from my. That's okay, cause that's over now, honey. Yeah. Look how tall she is. <laughs> that part with with heels on with too. Heels. <laughs> okay, and balancing. Okay. Right. Right. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else you want to tell us about yourself? Um, no, that, that's pretty much it. I just do poetry, writing, and, you know, I just want to be the next big thing to help other children and to be their inspiration, too. Okay, so, well, yeah. thank you for stopping by Ethic okay. TV, sweetheart. Thank you. We're here live 
at the first annual HARP Awards, having angels receive their praise is the theme and the acronym. Everything is beautiful. We're having a good time. The colors are purple, gold, and white, representing a whole lot of royalty and regalness. I am here with the one and only, tell us your name. Jamisa Randall. Randall. Jamisa Randall, who just sang uh, Alicia Keys, No One, and killed it. And she's dressed so beautiful. She's 16. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I live in the city of, of Covina. I am 16 years old. I go to Charter Oak High School. And I love singing. Um, I've been singing since I was little. Yeah, and um, I, I want to, to be a vet when I grow up. So I think you could probably manage to be a vet and still sing somehow. I see you pulling it all off like without a hitch and being fly the whole time. What you think? I think I can do it. <laughs> so I was talking to your mom who's over there waiting so patiently. And she was telling me that actually you were, you're going to be going to 11th grade. So you're actually a year ahead. And they wanted to put you into the 12th grade, but you guys decided to hold off a little bit. So you're actually an advanced student. And your mother and your father both sing and play instruments? Yeah, they do, yeah. They're her whole big musical family. <laughs> and you have a sister that's 10, right? What's her name? Gabby. Gabriella Leah Dorsey. We're going to give a shout out to Gabby. Hey, girl, we see you. We see you. And what's your brother's name? William Worthy. William Worthy? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Sounds like an estate or something. What else? Would you like to project into your future? Um, overall, I just want to stay humble and be successful. And um, I want to give back to everyone. Mm -hmm. Some type of community service yeah. or maybe yeah. go sing at a senior's home or yeah. hopefully people have been abused. I'm hopefully going to um, volunteer at a lot of places mm -hmm. and just give back. Okay. Well, do you want to do any shout outs? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my mom because she's always there for me. And I also want to give out sh a shout out to my dad and my little sister who is right there. <laughs> you want to come say hi? I like those shoes. Those come in my size. Those come in my size. What's your name? Gabriella. Look in the camera to everybody. Hi. Hi. Your big sister. Yeah. You be trying to boss her around? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. Keep her in line, huh? So do you sing a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. Oh, here we are with the musical family at the first annual Harp Awards here in lovely Long Beach, California. It can seem unfair, the faith that time unfolds. One day you're here full of light, then you're gone. Oh, oh. But who can dare to stare in the eyes of God's wisdom when the future's only his to truly know? One thing I know, I know for so that there's a heaven up above, and God's mercy surely flows. Oh, heavenly Father, open your door. It's time you make room for one more. Hey, and I'm gonna be.